Hi, I'm George, and I wanted to show you a brand new photo retouching plugin for Photoshop called Retouch for Me. Phenomenal artificial intelligence driven retouching, and I'll show you that in just one second. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos, and of course, check out my channel for more great graphics content. Okay, this is a great brand new plugin for Photoshop. And to show you how this works, I'm just going to make a duplicate of this background layer here. Just right click, we'll duplicate that layer. There we go. It'll work on this duplicate layer here. Now this thing is just amazingly quick and does a phenomenal job. I'll go up here to filter and the plugin is right down there. And let's go ahead and run this and we'll just see how fast this thing goes. It's going to bring up the plugin first. It will then run the plugin. Now I'm not doing any speeding up or anything in here. I'm just going to let this thing run at its actual speed. And I'm not working on any kind of a souped up computer. It's just kind of an average computer. Nothing special about that. So even on my average computer, you can see it's already almost finished. It'll be done here in just a second. And there it is. That's it. It's done. Okay. We'll take a look at these settings in just a second. But first, let's see what it did. I'll click on apply and there we go. So here is the retouched version and there is the unretouched version. So there's retouched, unretouched. It went through and got rid of all of those imperfections in there just absolutely perfectly. And it did it as you saw very, very quickly. I'll just get rid of this one layer here so we can do it again. And look at that actual plugin. I'm going to right click, duplicate layer. There we go. Back up here to filter, retouch for me, bring that plugin back up again, let it run through the process, and then I'll show you the options that you have here in this plugin. There's not that much to it, but you can make a few adjustments if you want to. Now, the way I did it before, I applied it and I let it give me a brand new layer. There we go, like we have right there. If you want to, you could make it come in and just give you a mask instead of a new image layer. I find the image layer is nice because it also protects my original layer as well, which I always like to do anyway. So you can do that. You can adjust the sensitivity up here if it's doing too much work. You can do that if you want to. You can zoom in right here to see better and pull the image around so you have that option right there. This allows you to adjust the sensitivity to get just the right level. You can also go back to the original over here or you can take a look at the mask and adjust the mask, either adding or subtracting right there. I've never found a need for that in all my testing right here, but you do have that ability. So as you can see, very fast, very easy to use. I'll click apply again, and there we go. So before and after. Now this plugin is really designed for your professional photographer or the person who is needing to do a lot of photo retouching. It's not a cheap or inexpensive plugin. It costs about $79 right now, so it's not cheap. But if you're doing this professionally or if you're having to go through a lot of photographs and do a lot of retouching, this can save you an enormous amount of time on what can be just a real kind of a boring process going through doing all of that retouching, maybe using the spot healing brush or something. It does all that work for you. So for the person who needs to have some speed, who needs to get this work done quickly so they can move on to the more important stuff, it's just a phenomenal plugin. Let's take a fast look at the website. And there it goes at retouch4.me, retouch for me. I'll just scroll down just a little bit here. There's not a whole lot here, just a few examples before and after examples on this. Everything that we just showed actually. It works on either PC or Mac. It's PC Windows 10, 64 bit processor, 1.2 gig or faster. So, you know, relatively low end requirements on that. I'm sure you have a better computer than what that says right there. Works as a Photoshop plugin. It also can work as an external editor in Lightroom or Capture One and can work as a standalone app, but for my uses, I find it works best as a plug-in to Photoshop. You can download both versions here. You can download Windows or Mac right there, give it a try, and there's your Buy button. So as you can see, pretty basic and fast website as well, but a phenomenal, very quick photo retouching tool. And if you're doing this kind of work where time is important, it's just about a must-have. It does such a great job. Now, don't forget to hit that like button, hit share, hit subscribe, and check my channel for more great graphics content. And I'll see you next time.